Uh, <clears throat> welcome back my uh, gardening friends. Now I have noticed that my microphone doesn't seem to be working as well on this tablet as it did the other. Maybe the microphone's playing up, not sure. But uh, I hope you can hear me okay, if not turn the volume up. Um, right. Homemade seed compost. Uh, I've done it before with leaf mould and wood chips but this time I'm going to add some cocoa koi and some of the uh, compost that the cannabis growers unscrupulously dump and I've got some kiln sand there now the kiln sand is the only thing that I would buy but what I normally try and do is buy the bags that are broken and I would normally use that on our block paving so I'm going to do uh, a scoop of uh, each uh, pop it into the bowl just so we've got roughly the same amount in we'll give it a mix up and then we'll see uh, what it actually uh, looks like we might need more more sand it's a very fine sand to give it a, a, a nice little bit of drainage. Now I'm not sure how much sand I'll uh, actually need. And uh, looking at that, it's probably too much sand. So let's just, uh, let's go for Half a cup of each. Let's see what that looks like. And the test will be when we try and grow something in it. I still think there's too much sand in there. Let's give that a good mix. Uh, I'm going to do the same again so perhaps uh, we should have just had half a cup of sand sure whether you can see that but it does look uh, light and fluffy so uh, I found this in the cupboard <laughs> oh, this is K don't find out and uh, I'll put uh, two cups in that I'll do a little experiment I'm going to microwave it to see if that kills all the seed weeds it's going to kill all the microorganisms as well and any poor worms that get in there uh, and, and then do a comparison with uh, it just uh, on its own so I'm going to give that a whirl now and I'll bring you back once uh, it's steaming and it's ready to eat uh, ready to use while we're waiting for that a um, bit of a mail call as uh, most of you know, I was uh, part of uh, Shed Wars um, 21 and uh, I was on team at Will It Grow and uh, John has made his own seed packets there and popped a few things on the back, uh, how to uh, go about them. Uh, so we've got uh, a Bulgarian carrot, uh, onion, uh, red nugent. Uh, I'm going to be doing a sunflower challenge uh, with these mammoth uh, mora. Watch out for that. There's some uh, stickers there. A thank you for the shed wars. A pepper Jimmy Nardellos. It looks a bit warm. That does. A pepper Purple Beauty and a tomato uh, Italian aroma. So I'm going to give some of those a try. Uh, but uh, that's John from uh, Will It Grow? And uh, I know not everyone. Uh, 
likes uh, some of these people but uh, I uh, have to work with some very awkward people and uh, if you once you get to know John he's uh, a really uh, nice chap um, but uh, that's my own personal opinion right the microwave just clicked off so I'll go and have a look redo it let it cool down and I'll bring you back when we're ready right uh, we'll have to let it cool down before I pop the seeds in but uh, we've got uh, a nice brew going on there I'm going to try some cherry bell radish that we've had from sh uh, the original Shed Wars 20 uh, my granddaughter Olivia picked those out so we're going to have one with microwave one without so that's a little bit warm at the minute you might be able to see it steaming so let's get the label in before we forget we'll take one of the ordinary pop those in and uh, I'm going to just give it a little bit longer get it out of that dish and we'll pop the seeds in right so I've had a look to see how many seeds I've got left because we didn't take too many seeds out of each packet uh, during the seeds uh, trip around uh, the UK but I'm going to put four of these uh, radish seeds in each one already done those and because I've got that extra bit of microwave to compost I've uh, decided to uh, do another pot just in case we have any issues uh, with the germination which you can do we all know that So those will go in the grow room now and uh, I'll uh, see what we need to do with the, the rest of this I'll get it put into one of my plastic tubs and uh, we'll see how this mix goes but it looks like two of these to one sand two of these of each of the uh, four materials one sand uh, gives us uh, a, a reasonable uh, mix and uh, only time will tell and I'll be uh, mixing a bit more up uh, and uh, doing a few things but this is the main experiment so realistically you could do this with whatever materials you've got whether it's your spent compost, your civet uh, you don't have to add anything extra to it because the seeds have the energy to grow just on tissue paper so don't try and add anything to your seed compost when you pop them on and I'll be doing my homemade uh, potting on compost later on that's when you need to add the nutrients now the material in the compost bin will have loads of nutrients especially if I put a little bit of manure in there so realistically you don't have to buy or add things uh, too much if you do make your own composts uh, and mixes but we'll see we'll see what happens depending on what uh, what you're using the potting on mix for but uh, for now I'll just show you where they're sitting and a quick lo look in the grow room and uh, I hope that's been uh, some use and hopefully there'll be a future update and I'll keep a playlist uh, handy for anybody to pop in to see it from my previous attempts and have a look uh, how we did things then happy gardening to you all till next time my friends try for now